Good morning, Wildcats. Welcome back to a wonderful Wednesday here at West Lane. Well, so happy to have you back. Do you want to talk real quick? You know, I always use this to talk a little bit about things here. Uh, do you want to talk a little bit about dress code? Um, for the most part, we're doing a great job. Uh, one thing I've noticed is that uh, we have a lot of midriffs showing. Um, that is not allowed in the dress code. That's just, that's, we follow the high school code. That's not allowed. Some of you, is because we're wearing shirts, we type in the back, we may just have you loosen them. Um, also, some of our shorts are a bit short, and, and if a teacher says something, hey, that's, and a teacher will just simply say, this is the last day to wear these to school. We're not saying to throw them away. We're not saying to get rid of them. We're just saying as far as school goes, we're not wearing them. And please, we're not saying to anybody, well, I walk by the administrator. Sometimes we don't see things, right? We don't even look. We're looking at something else. We're doing this. Don't think because you walk past this at some point that it's, and a teacher says, hey, that's inappropriate for school. It's fine. Let me just say, hey, we don't wear it at school anymore. We're not selling why. We're just saying, hey, that may be the last day we need to wear this uh, at this school outfit. It's as simple as that. We're not going to make, we're not going to be in a, in a battle about it. Um, we're just going to tell you, hey, let's not need to, to, to do this. Maybe two, if your shirt is, if your shirt is not tied up and shows your midriff, don't wear it at school. Just don't. Uh, in a discussion. Um, because that's not allowed, you know that. Like, that's the deal. That's one, like, we, we kind of, um, Tighten up the dress code as far as like not as many rules, but that doesn't mean we're just going to openly dress how we want to here at school inappropriately. Again, no pajama pants. I've had to tell a lot of boys about that. Like we want to wear pajama pants. We're not doing that here. No sleepwear, unless we actually have a spirit day for sleepwear. Then wear them. But unless we're doing that, we're not wearing pajama bottoms. We talked to I've probably talked to about 15 boys about that. Girls not doing a doing a great job about wearing pajama pants. So. Um, we need to keep keep that in mind that we do have a dress code here and we need to follow it and then simply the teacher just says hey that's inappropriate for school just don't wear to school anymore it's just that basic all right you have more clothes at home i'm sure and more things that you can wear so that is all i'm going to say about that but let's make sure we're following that dress code at all times outside of that we had parent teacher conferences last, or parent teacher meetings last night um opening of school so that was a cool time saw a couple of you here um also too Eighth graders, end of the day, Mr. Allen was there yesterday. If you're going to congregate below the stairs and permit and prevent people from getting out, I will make a two-wave dismissal, and I'll put eighth graders last. I'll do a 425 for everybody and then a 428 for eighth graders if that's necessary. I, don't think, you, I think you can handle it, though, right? I think you can get out of that area pretty quick and not clog it up. So that's all I'm going to say about that. Figure it out because you will. Um, eighth graders are super smart and figure out things pretty quick. Uh, so let's just make sure we're exiting out at the end of the day really nicely. All right. Also, too, get out fast. Uh, we roll buses at I mean, we're for like 432, and that's seven minutes after. And, and really, your passing period is four minutes. So you open your locker, you get your things in your bag, and you go. That's not, not a big thing. Let's go. All right. Let's start our announcements. All right. Today is Wednesday, August the 14th, 2024, and these are your morning announcements. Westlane Middle School is an avid school-wide side of distinction. The mission of Westlane Middle School is to reveal the genius of each wildcat through a culture of joy, respect, and excellence. We believe every person deserves to be seen, affirmed, and to grow. Let's make sure our lanterns and IDs are around our necks, and we'll be delivering some IDs today, and hopefully we'll have them all out by the end of the day. Our binder, student organizer, and our writing utensils with us. Backpacks and purses are in our lockers at all times. Um, hats, sunglasses, and hoods are off. AirPods and phones are in our lockers, and blankets stay at home. Today's a blue day with advisory, which means we have advisory block one, two, three, lunch, four, and five. All right, these are your bus slots. Make sure you're following them. Uh, library is open. We have, must have a library pass. Have your ID. Temporary one's okay. One student per pass. I'm going to ask your teacher an appropriate time. All students will visit the library this week starting today in their English or language arts classes. Are you interested in becoming a student tour guide? Seventh and eighth graders are interested. Seventh and eighth graders are interested in becoming a tour guide. Uh, get an application from your advisory teacher and turn into Mrs. Brobe by August 15th, 2024. She's in room C210. That's upstairs right in the center. Limited spots are available. Student Council, your first meeting is the 29th, and I think the first work we're going to be doing is a homecoming spirit week. So if you have any ideas for that, make sure you're uh, telling your advisory teacher, telling Mr. Melrose that you would like to be on the Student Council. All right. Lunch today. Uh, is um, mac and cheese with Cheetos, okay, meatball sub, 
chicken tender wrap, spicy tender wrap, and broccoli. And then breakfast for tomorrow is a pancake wrap or banana breakfast banana split or cereal, juice, and peaches. Make sure we clean up Westland. Make sure all of our uh, all of our cafeteria tables are clean after breakfast. Lunch, you guys, a phenomenal job. I could not be happier about lunch uh, on top of the tables. Make sure we clean up under the tables as well. Also, think before you speak. Is it true? Is it helpful? Is it inspiring? Is it necessary? Or is it kind? If it's not, don't think, don't say it, don't post it. Don't forget our avid school-wide binder checkoff sheet. Make sure you have a good quality binder. Everybody does have one of those. You have a divider for each class. You have a zipper pouch to store your supplies, and you have two more writing utensils with notebook paper and all your homework in behind the divider and your agenda book. This is not optional. Students, make sure you keep your hands off each other. We know that leads to physical altercations, and we don't want that. Uh, pass protocol, each student gets an average of one pass a week, and uh, no passes in the first 20 minutes or last 20 minutes of class. At lunch, you're going to sit in your correct tables and face your center. Stay in your seat and have your ID. And stay in your seat until your grade level is dismissed and walk back to your class. Teachers can only write two to three passes per class in a class. I'm going back and forth between passes and lunch. Teacher can also say no to passes, and all passes should be five minutes or less out of class. Don't forget the bell does not dismiss you. That dismissal and tardy bell does not dismiss you from class. Your teacher does. It's just a reminder for your teacher to that class is over. Breakfast students, you're doing a good job on this. You must report directly to the cafetorium off the bus to get breakfast. Also, we stay seated in about those first 9 to 12 tables. And also, when you get a pass, we'll write the time that you should be in class on the pass. So teachers, if you get a breakfast pass, should say about that time that you get out of class. I think we've been pretty good about going four minutes after they dismiss from breakfast. If a student does not have a pass and they had breakfast, they were released way early enough to get to class. All food should be in the cafetorium. There really shouldn't be any food outside the cafetorium, especially in the hallway. Don't eat in the hallway. Once we're done with lunch, you load that up and, and, and do. Now, after lunch, too, after A lunch and after B lunch and before B lunch, there's no need for a locker stop. Um, we, have, we go to our locker right before period three and period eight, and then we go after period eight. There's no locker time in between the two. Uh, students, your ID is also on your neck between, uh, for you to receive a hall pass and check out library books. And all cell phones are in your locker between 925 and 425. They're taken if they're seen or heard. And our motto, of course, is Cada Wildcat, Cada Dia Mayor, which means every Wildcat every day gets better. Let's make sure we're getting better today, Wildcats. And again, I want to reiterate, no passes between the time that period 3 or 8 starts and the time period 3 and 8 ends. Okay, you should have all your things to that class and take in the class as well. Also today, we're going to have a fire drill during period two. They're going to, and that, my expectation for fire drills every year, every time, voice level zero, not one, not voice level 0.5, voice level zero. If that's a discussion we can't have, if that's a problem that we can't do it, I end up calling your parents and saying, listen, we're not doing this for fire drills, a safety issue. Your teachers will take you out, take attendance, and then once we get the all clear, Last year, we did like a couple of almost sub two minute fire drills as far as evacuating and then another two minutes back in. Let's always, we're always trying to go for sub five minute back and in and out fire drills because that's a safety issue and that's just an efficient West Lane way. And so today when we do this period two this morning, um, making sure that your teacher is going to go over your, your rotation and things like that, just make sure you're listening at all times. And you're going to go outside. We're saying here, there, and everywhere. Do that. All right. We will see you throughout the building today, Wildcats.